Alright, so before I go, I want to talk to y'all what's happening since yesterday, last night. Because when I heard that, um, that Swerve Strickland has finally won the AEW World Championship. Now that's awesome, because you know that does make sense. It feel like, it feel like it's WrestleMania 30, was it 37? I think it's 37. I'm trying to figure it out. But, um, yeah, um, it was actually amazing of how it happened sooner or later because it felt like it gave you a like, um, you know, like, Kobe Kingston versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. That actually looks very different. And I gotta say, it's actually awesome of how it actually makes completely sense of it. If they would have add, yeah, if they would have added Lucero Strickland versus Daniel Bryan, well, yeah, Brian Danielson for the AEW World Championship, that'd be lit. That'd be the whole thing. That'd be lit because of it. And most people knows about it because it actually totally makes sense. So, yeah. And um, I know a lot. Of I know a lot of people that really doesn't care about it, but I actually do really care because it's actually important for me to like support so many other wrestlers that actually like has so much entertainment. And also, by the way, for um, damn, that had another that adds another one, the best one. Speaking of that, um, Brian Danielson versus Real Osprey, that one has a good match to it. I'm not gonna lie, and I gotta say, um. That's how I'm going to be making a lot of lists of it. Well, I already did because I am going to be watching a lot of things on my list currently because um, I got a lot of things, important things, you know, so yeah. And even though that most of uh, pro wrestling uh, communities, they always like to make a joke about it like, oh yeah, I don't want Brock Lesnar to be AEW. No. Because... That would be totally stupid, and I don't know why, because Brock Lesnar is still on WWE, and he doesn't even know about any other companies that he lived for, so you gotta let, him, you gotta let Swerve Strickland be, because I just don't tolerate, like, this whole bad behavior towards, like, pro wrestling communities that have a problem with it. And you gotta let Sword of Strickland just have their good moments. And even though he would defend the title for like, let's say over, let's say over a year, it actually happens. You know, that's that's the most important thing if that ever happens. So, yeah. But I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad that um that another uh the black champion. I mean it's not for the black history, but like Sora Strickland said and you know it's a wrestling history because of it and you just gotta live the entertainment moments to see and you gotta live with live with the best moment for um the pay per view of course. And, and also for the main show as well, because if you want to live the best moment, you just have to like, hopefully add, add something more to, you know, five stars and all of that. So, yeah. And I've been known Star Strickland ever since from the beginning because of it. So, yeah. And in case you never know, fun fact. I know that was Killshot, who um actually play at you know from Story Story Strickland at Lucha Underground, which is quite interesting. I was like word. That's quite interesting. I did not know that was. I don't. I did not know the Story Strickland play as Killshot, which is very amazing. And it's how it is, man. It's how it is because of it. So yeah. But uh, I want to say um, congratulations to uh, Story Strickland for win the AEW champ or World Championship. Hopefully you'll defend it as long as you can because hopefully it doesn't 
escalate quickly. That never happens, so that's what worries. That's what worries me. So yeah, but um, congratulations. So um, yeah, but um, oh, also, <laughs> I do have some. Hold on a second. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this one <laughs> right here, man. Um <laughs> I know I've been having this for like a year, so yeah. But um maybe um maybe next time I'll get the one of those WWE uh undisputed WWE championship if I can. Along with the along with the World Heavyweight Championship, I'll probably have to get it as well. So that's more important thing. And I gotta get the Intercontinental Championships. And yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of thing I need to get. It, so yeah, it's very more important. So yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. What else? Um. Oh yeah. I got a question for y'all. Am I that really burdened to y'all? Cause I um out. I um try to um you know I came you know, I'll let y'all know, cause I know I like get so much. You know, uh, I get a lot of people irritate or being, you know, being annoying or anything. You know, whatever I deal with trolls and bullies every single time, and you know, most people never cares and all that. And I know I've been kicked down on myself because I don't know. Maybe I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because of it, so, yeah, and, um, it just, it just hurt to see a lot of things, because I know I've been having, like, a very messed up in a mental illness type of situation that's been going on, and, yeah, it just, it just always happens sometimes, and I just really hope that, I just really hope that a lot of, every positive people that would understand and that probably helped me sometimes so yeah but um just let y'all know man am I am I really burdened to y'all cause I know I don't want to be like irritate to y'all and annoying so yeah but um but, yeah um but I think that's, I think that's it, man. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, I know I've been like trying, trying my best to be more positive. I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best to do so if I can. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, uh, I think that's it for now. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. So, um, yeah. But, um, but yeah, man, I think that's gonna be it for right about now. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, click the bell notification down below. And I will see y'all next time. This is Tyler signing out. Bye.